All right, Kraus, today is the last day of school before Christmas break. So we're going to have a free day today. We got a free day? No work. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Uh, you spelled break wrong. No, I didn't. That's how you spell break. It's spelled B-R-E-A-K. That's how you spell break if you broke something. This is how you spell break if something is stopping, like how a car uses its brakes to stop. This is a Christmas break because we are stopping school for your Christmas vacation. That's not how that works, but okay. I'm the teacher, Cody, not you. The teacher is always right. But you're wrong. All right, Crass, that's it. Since Cody want to be a smartass, you're going to have homework over Christmas break. I'm going to go prepare a packet. Good going, Four Eyes! Yeah, you flippin' nerd! Sorry, guys. Whenever someone makes a spelling mistake, I have to just keep pushing and pushing until it ruins everyone's day. I frickin' hate you, Cody, you frickin' fricker. I wanna frick your mom. Hm. So, Penelope, what do you wanna do during Christmas break? Other than a shit ton of homework? Sorry, eat. Well, Junior, I was really hoping we could spend time together on Christmas Day. Oh, well, do you, like, want a Christmas gift or something? Because I haven't got you anything. Yeah, I want a Christmas present. I got you something. Junior, Christmas is in less than a week. Well, the stores are still open, so I can go get your gift today. What do you want? I really want something, but it's really expensive. What is it? A Harry Poopon necklace. Harry Poopon? What the fuck? You think my nigga Rich Rich? What's a Harry Poopon necklace? Junior, Harry Poopon is the most name-brand show-off expensive necklace there is. All the white girls want one. Yep. Well, how expensive is it? Well, in funky rap terms, shit, about a band or two. Sounds about right. Lil Wayne did say I'm richer than a bitch without the Harry Poopon. Yeah, he did say that. Lil Wayne does love Harry Poopon necklaces. Mm. One to two thousand dollars for a necklace? You don't have to get it for me, but I really want it. And, and think about this, Junior. If you got me something like that, I could, like, never break up with you. Because what other boyfriend could get me something like that? Hmm. I mean, you could never break up with me if I got it for you? It's like an investment. Ugh, that's so much homework. Thanks, Cody. Sorry. I threw my shit away, dude. I'm not doing homework on Christmas. I'm already on Christmas break. You're right. I'm gonna look at these hairy poop-on necklaces. Ah, oh, Junior, you're not actually gonna buy one of those, are you? I might get her one of the cheap ones. Like, look, this one's only $930. Dude, you can't see that pebble. It's so small. She's not gonna like that. Well, how about I get her the $2,500 one? How are you gonna even afford that? I was thinking I could steal my dad's credit card and buy the necklace, and hopefully he doesn't see the charge until after I give her the necklace. But, but by that time, she'll be my property. Junior, you're not gonna own her just because you bought her a necklace. She said if I buy her this necklace, she'll never leave me. Dude, she's not an indentured servant. Yeah, she can say anything. It doesn't mean it's true. She could still leave you. Well, I'll tell her, look, I'll only give you this necklace if you sign this contract saying I own you. Okay, well, even if she agreed to do that, it's not legal to own a person. Well, what stupid idiot would make that rule? Abraham Lincoln. Why'd he do that? <clears throat> oh! Yeah. I guess he made a good decision. I, I guess? What do you mean? I guess we just guess it now? Look, let's just go back to the Harry Poupon. So if I buy her this necklace, it would be stupid because she could just leave me anyway? Yes. Okay, so then I should test her loyalty before I spend so much money on a Christmas gift. What, how are you going to do that? I'll hire a really hot guy to ask Penelope for her number, and if she gives her number, she's a cheating bitch, and I won't give her the necklace. Ooh, I like this plan, dude. I don't know. This doesn't seem fair to Penelope. Not fair! If she gives her number, she's a cheater. If she says, I have a boyfriend, then she's loyal. What's not fair about it? Well, what if she gives him a fake number? That's still cheating, because it's, uh, you're entertaining it. Yeah, of yeah. course. If she gives the guy a fake number, the guy might think she made a mistake and said, ooh, she got a number wrong, she really was into me, she saw my, my wiener imprint in my pants, and she liked it. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't seem like cheating to me. If a girl asked me for my number, I would say, I have a girlfriend, I'm loyal, go away. Because that's my boy, he loyal. Mm -hmm. Junior, you would not say that. Well, that's because we're dogs. You know, we're just trying to get our next bone. Oh. Yeah, yeah. if a girl asks for our number, we're going to say yes, especially if it's a 10 out of 10 Coke bottle shaped ass, busting out the frames type bitch. Well, that's why it doesn't seem fair to Penelope, because you're getting a 10 out of 10 guy to ask her. Well, girls should stay loyal, Cody. So, so I think I should do this. I'm going to hire a really hot guy to see if she'll give her number away. Okay, well, who are you going to hire? Oh, dude, I know the perfect guy. My homeboy, Stanley. Man, he pulls all the hoes. He has seven on his roster right now. Is he hot? Bro, he fucks. Keeps his dick wet. I'm telling you, smooth as butter. Real player made ass nigga. Look, we went to a party one time, and I had this girl. She was 11 out of 10, bro. She was really feeling me. Hot as hell. But then I walked away to get a drink. Next thing you know, she's upstairs with Stanley getting it on. You you can't leave him alone with a girl for longer than 30 seconds, bro. Yeah, he picks pockets pussy, has sleight of hand, bro. Oh, juggernaut, bro, he has every perk available. Wait, why have I never heard of this guy? Cause he likes vagina, Cody, not penis. Look, I'm gonna go and get it real quick. Uh, Junior, aren't you a little worried about Stanley? He seems a little overqualified for this job. He might actually steal your girlfriend. Well, that's what I want. I want a guy so hot that she would cheat so I know not to buy her this necklace. But I don't think it's just gonna be a job for him. Here's my man, Stanley! 
Stan Lee is dead. Oh, you mean Stanley. Hey, Stanley, we've heard so much about you and your penis. What's up, guys? Where are the women at? That's my boy. Man, he stay on the prowl. He can't be stopped. That's him? Oh, yes, he is him. Pimothy, Mr. Metal Detector Dick looking for the hoes. So, Stanley, I like your shirt. Thank you. It stands for equality, which means any girl can get it. I like fat Asians, lardy Latinas, obese white women, and big booty black bitches. All of the above, my boy. <laughs> well, I have a job for you, Stanley. And it includes women, so don't be nervous. Okay, what is it? So, I have this girlfriend, and I want to see if she would cheat on me. So, I want you to go up to her and ask for her number. And if she gives you her number, then I know to break up with her. Okay, can I pap? I mean, you can do whatever you want. I just want to see if she'll cheat on me. Oh, I guarantee she'll cheat. Yeah, my boy guarantees it. It's in the fine print. Yeah, so where is she? Okay, so here's the plan. I was going to call her and tell her to come over here until I was hanging out with you. And then I was going to go use the bathroom. And then while you're alone with her on the couch, that's when you ask for her number. Okay. All right, so Cody, Joseph, you hide behind the couch. Okay, I got you, bro. I'm going to call Penelope. So, Penelope, meet my new friend, Stanley. So. Hi. Oh man, my stomach hurts. I gotta go use the bathroom. I'm gonna leave you two alone. You would never cheat on me, right? No, Junior. I'll be right back. So how's it going? Good, just hanging out. All right, I only have a shirt on. Wait, do you have a mustache? Yeah, I'm not wearing any underwear. How old are you? 15, you should totally lift up my shirt. How do you know Junior? Today. What? That doesn't answer my question. You're really pretty. Can I get your number? No, I'm not comfortable with that. She must have put up some sort of dumb bitch force field that prevents me from getting her number. I can hear you. Time to go to plan B. Do you like oranges? Yeah. My balls are the size of oranges. You should totally squeeze them. Okay, you need to leave. Well, I got seven other women that would totally be happy to squeeze them. And five of their hands are on my shirt right now. Great, well, go call them. Go. You know what? I think I might. Oh, weirdo. So, Penelope, when Stanley asked for your number, what'd you say? I told him no, but Junior, how did you know he was going to ask for my number? Uh, I didn't. Guys, you can come out now. Why are your friends hiding behind the couch? We were playing hide and seek. I just gave up. So, Cody, when Stanley asked Penelope for her number, what'd she say? Well, she said no. Did she say she had a boyfriend? Not exactly. Did she say she had a boyfriend? No. We have to break up. Junior, he's your friend. He should know I'm your girlfriend. If a guy asks for your number, you're supposed to say, no, I have a boyfriend. Go away. You and invited me over and before you walked away you asked if I would ever cheat on you right in front of him and I said no. Hmm. Okay, go to your house. Let me think about it. Ugh. Guys, did she seem interested when Stanley was talking to her? No, not at all. Yeah, something was off about her. She seemed weird. Yeah, it might have been a pH balance or something. You said Stanley pulled hose. I mean, he usually does. He has like a 99% return rate on him. Guys, I think maybe there's just something wrong about Stanley. I mean, it seems like maybe he only likes fat girls. Huh? What makes you say that? Well, he only mentioned fat girls, and it seems like that's the only way a guy as weird as him could get that many girls. I ain't gonna let you talk bad about my homeboy like that. Yeah, obviously Stanley gets hot girls because Joseph said he stole his 11 out of 10 hot girls. Girl. Yeah, I mean, I did say she was bad, and I meant like 11 out of 10 on the fat scale. That bitch was huge. A brick house. I'm talking about bad cholesterol, goddamn. Look, any day she could eat a Debbie cake and be in the grave. I'm talking about heavy breathing, all that shit. Whew. Yeah, she was fat as hell. Well, I guess that answers that question, Junior. I don't think Stanley was a good enough test to see if she would cheat. We need to get a rich guy, because girls will cheat for money. So we have to get a rich guy to come up and offer her money to cheat. Like a prostitute? No, 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 no. Like, we need a guy to come up to her and say, you're the type of girl that needs to wake up on a yacht every morning. And then, boom, give her $1,000 to see if she cheats. It doesn't seem fair to use money. No, if she's going to leave me over money, then I don't want to be with her at all. Junior, it really seems like you want her to cheat on you. Yes, I want her to cheat, because I can't afford that necklace. So let me go call Richard, you know, our rich friend. What do you poor kids want? Well, Richard, you have a lot of money, right? Yeah, my name's Richard, not Portrait. I'm rich. Okay, so I have this girlfriend, and I want to see if she would cheat on me if you gave her money. Well, of course she'll cheat on you if I give her money. She's a woman. She loves money. Okay, so here's what I think you should do. I think you should go up to her and say, hey, baby, I'll give you $1,000 if you make out with me right now. Or I could do this. I have an even better idea. Cody, pick a number between 1 and 10,000. Well, I got to go with my favorite number, 5. Okay. All right, check your phone. Okay, uh, well you just Apple paid me five dollars. Oh shit, I, I mean, I mean my favorite number is five thousand, that's what I meant. Too late. Oh, God damn it, I didn't know money was involved, fuck! Well yeah, go up to her and do that. Well I'm not gonna just give her free money. If you want me to do it, you can give me the money and I'll do it. I don't have any money though. Alright, well then no deal. Oh, okay, I got an idea. There's this really expensive necklace that she wants, so I can go steal my dad's credit card, buy the necklace, give it to you, and you can give her the necklace to see if she would cheat on me. Okay. Okay, let me go get my dad's credit card and buy but, it. But Junior, <sighs> Okay, I just got back from the Harry Poupon store. This necklace was like $3,000. My dad's gonna beat me up when he sees his credit card statement. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna call Penelope over, I'm gonna leave her alone on the couch, and you're gonna walk up to her and say, hey, I just bought you this Harry Poupon necklace. Make out with me and see what she does. Okay. All right, Cody, Joseph, you hide behind the couch, and you, you take this. All right, Penelope, just sit right there. Junior, what's going on? I have to use the bathroom, my stomach hurts. Again? Hey. 
Hi. I got you this necklace from Harry Poupon. Oh my god, really? Yeah, it's all yours. Oh my god, thank you so much. It's so beautiful. Yeah, you want to make out? No. You don't want to tongue my hairy mustache? Ew, no. Go away. Oh, fine, poor. Creep. Okay, Penelope, I'm back. Wait a minute, where'd you get that necklace from? Oh my god, Junior, this weird kid with a mustache gave me this Harry Poupon necklace, and then he asked to make out with me, and I told him to leave. You accepted a necklace from another man? We're breaking up. No, Junior, this is great, because now you don't have to give me this necklace anymore. But... I got you that necklace. No, you didn't, Junior. That creepy kid did. No, I did. Cody, get in here. Yeah, Junior, I was going to warn you. If you're going to get her the necklace, you should just give it to her yourself. Now she thinks another guy gave it to her. Well, tell her I got it for her. Yeah, Penelope, he bought you that necklace for the other kid to give you. This was just another test to see if you'd cheat. What? Well, I think you're going to cheat on me, so I hired two guys to see if you'd cheat on me, and you didn't. Well, I didn't, so now what? Well, now you have the Harry Poupon necklace. Oh, my God, really, Junior? So does that mean I own her now? No, Junior. Junior, don't be too goddamn ass, I'm looking back! Oh man, my dad sounds pissed. Uh, Santa Claus, all I want for Christmas is my dad not to beat my ass. Junior! You ran the charges on my credit card! Oh, I'm gonna beat your ass! No, someone save me! Ho 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 ho! Santa Claus! I asked Santa Claus, the only thing I wanted for Christmas is for you not to beat my ass. Oh man, I guess I can't do it now. But I can. $3,000 on a necklace. I'm gonna beat your ass red like my rosy cheek. Ah! Beat his ass, Santa. Beat his ass.